this is the last lecture for section 4 and we are going to explore how to use line plot so we've done scattered plot and this is line what we will do is just copy this data that we had in scatter plot copy and then we'll go to new so make sure you have this file because we'll use it a lot in customizing or we use some of it so make sure you have it or maybe in home exercises so make sure you have that so you just come to new project and yes save so choose workbook and paste so we are going to save this as line and there we go so in line plot it's just similar to scatter plot you just you just come to basic 2d and you see these so let's just start with basic line you can go to plot go to line and you connect lines and there you go in the same way you can also add many line plot to one graph so you can go in here and go to plot and you have different lines attached you can also let's select just two for the time being you come to basic to you can do steps so it gives you your plotting steps so these are steps it's the same thing for when we do it for this is horizontal but if we do the same thing for vertical steps we'll kind of get the same graph so we can do delete this one the next one is to do spleen so spleen gives you kind of a smooth edge done um horizontal which you have uh, done just line which you have these sharp edges but spleen gives you this kind of graph the next one will be to plot and then go to basic 2d then line plus symbol so you can come to line plus symbol and we'll do customizing graphs in the next section so there are so many things how you can customize these symbols you can change the symbols you can um, make it interesting the other interesting thing before i forget is you can also add error bars so you can make this set as y error and then come in here and then plot your line plus symbol and then add arrow to your symbols your arrow bars to your symbols yeah yeah so there are so many different things to, you can do with this i haven't tried this but let's it just came to mind let's see if this works as well okay no we don't have that okay that's fine so yeah you can also have this let's change this back to y so the next is um, line series and it kind of connects the rows so it connects the first one which is let's say this one to this one then it connects so you can do those connections this is not the best way to represent it but that is kind of the idea we can maybe we can add a we can add a column some columns and we can try something more interesting so let's just copy we can copy this and paste and let's try it this way it's plot and line series 
yeah so yeah it starts from so actually it starts with the one so i think it will be best for demonstration's sake we can rather do it this way plot and then there you go so it just plots these two but if you do it this way it will also plot the x so it only plots a column it just ignores the x and you're just connecting lines from rows so if you do it this way it means it connected from one one to 0 0.08 to 0 0.5 but if you do it this way it means it connects from 0 0.08 to somewhere like 0 0.08 again so you have connections in lines the next one plot will be before and after which is also kind of the same approach it's, it's just kind of the same but what it does is if you have multiple plots so let's say we we add this one to it and then we go to plot um maybe we need four of them maybe four okay plot and then go to before and after then you have this is your before and your after and it just gives you some space and gives you another before and after so it's like this is your before so you can let's say change this to before and then and then change and this is your after section and it starts from 0 0.5 which is your before and your after so these are all kind of different looks that origin kind of gives you some kind of feel and the cool thing about origin is you can see what you will get so it makes it more easy for you to to work with um, let's continue with line segment so that can also be you can have two point segment which means it connects two points on your data yeah the same way you can also have plot and you can also have three point segment so now it's connecting threes and finally you can also have a spleen connected so you can have a spleen that is connected to symbols and you can as we did before add error bars and you see the errors in there and for line you can also come to this section and you have more lines connected in there so it's quite interesting what you can do with these tools and i love origin because it has many inbuilt tools for you and you can kind of see what you will get and just go for it so that will be it for this section we won't have any exercise for this section i'll just entreat you to get your own data maybe you have some data from work or from school you can play with the plot section you can play around it in the next section we will look at how to customize graphs so we'll look at how to make graphs more interesting customize your x-axis customize your layers change colors how to make your graph or your visuals very interesting so we'll see you in the next section